Happy Wednesday, my beautiful YouTube family. Today I'm going to be showing you just a simple wall decor piece that you can easily DIY. For this, you're going to need a canvas size of your choice, of course, and then the letters to match that canvas, some spray paint E6000, and four side wooden pieces to make a DIY frame if you want to. No tape, we're actually going to use hot glue. So whatever letters that you want to put on, you're just going to go ahead and spray paint them whatever color that you want. I'm doing a white on white for a more minimalistic look. I'm actually doing Paul and I's anniversary in Roman numerals, and I absolutely love it. It's a little bit more chic than just numbers. So while that dries, I just went ahead and took my four thinner pieces of wood and measured them around the canvas. And yes, I still have the plastic on because knowing me, I will always spill something on a canvas when I'm using it. I measured these out and then I just cut them on my table saw. But if you have a hand saw, it will also work because this wood is extremely thin. This is totally optional because the piece actually looks really dope without a frame, but it also cleans it up so much more when you add this. Now you guys know if you've been subscribed to me for a while, anytime I try to use a ruler or make things level like with an actual tool, it never works out for me. So I I just went ahead and free handed the spacing for my Roman numerals onto my canvas. And again, you don't have to do the date that I'm doing, obviously, or like Roman numerals. You can do any kind of lettering that you want. Before I moved these to glue them, I just marked the bottom of the letters onto the canvas with a straight line so I knew exactly where everything went. And then I took my E6000 and literally just glued them directly onto the canvas. These guys are thin, so they are not super heavy. You don't need to reinforce them. But also what I love is that you can paint the canvas a different color or the letters a different color. But again, I just really love the white on white cleanliness of it. I let that dry for a bit, then I went back in with my pencil and just erased the lines that I made underneath the letters as my guide. I thought I was gonna have to re-spray paint the canvas to like get rid of those markings, but I didn't have to. Like I said earlier, this frame deal is totally optional, but it is also super easy. So you just take the four pieces that you measured and cut earlier, you surround it around the canvas, and then yes, I am using hot glue, because again, this is like craft wood, it's nothing heavy duty. So I'm gluing along the edges of the canvas and then just lining up all the pieces. Once I glued those all to the sides, I flipped the canvas upside down and then I essentially just caulked the side with hot glue to ensure that those wood pieces were gonna stick. And there you guys have it. Literally looks like you can buy this at Home Goods. I am so sorry for tooting my own horn. I'm just so in love with this piece and it's personal because it's my anniversary with Paul. How awesome is that? My inspiration, of course, came from Pinterest when I saw another art piece like this, but it was on a much larger scale. So I'm happy that I was able to downsize it a bit to fit into my office that I'm currently redoing, and I am praying that this inspires me to actually finish it because ugh, we're gonna deal with all that later. If you guys like this DIY decor, the wall decor kind of deal, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are not yet a subscriber. Thank you so much for the constant love and support, you guys. I will see you on Friday for another video.